So, hello people who are watching this video today. Since my last video was a pick a card reader, I kind of realised that this is a bit random. It doesn't really make sense. So today I do have a smoke session video. And this is about the fact that I had a spiritual awakening. What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh, I have got, I feel like this video might be a while, but I have this, just a mini one because I'm not really supposed to smoke inside but I know that most people are on this channel for that and yeah so I have wrote it down so just so I can remember where to start so I just want to say before I, I went through any of this spiritual shit like I was the most oh my god I was the most logical person ever I didn't even believe in religion like I didn't agree with it and stuff like that like because it just did never really made sense to me like obviously everybody has their own beliefs do what you want but I personally just never believed in anything like that because I just didn't really see the point in it but then um yeah so it's kind of crazy how this has happened so to start from the beginning <laughs> Oh well, around like 2018 or something, I was in college, um, but I was starting to have like a really hard time, like, um, I don't know, my, everything in my life was just not going well. And one day, hopefully, I want to talk about everything in more detail, but I kind of feel like there's no point in airing my business out when barely anybody's going to see it and stuff, so I'll wait. I'll write a book one day or some shit. And then, um yeah so we'll just leave it as i was having a hard time i was in college and um for example okay i went to spain this is gonna seem like it has nothing to do with anything but i went to this hair on my face i went to spain and there was loads of shops that sold loads of tapestries and i always wanted a tapestry because i just love them i just think they're so cool easy way to take up make a boring wall like something so I was looking for tapestries and then I was stuck between this one and some other random one I don't really know I can't remember what it was now but I was stuck between them and then the guy in the shop was like about this one was like oh that's the god of money and bringing money to you so then I was like okay I bet <laughs> so then I got that and then um yeah but He's not the god of money, he's Ganesh, he's the god of um, removing obstacles and stuff, which I didn't know at the time, I just had it. Anyway, had that holiday, I didn't even hang this up for ages, like I kind of forgot, kind of forgot about it to be honest. And then, um, and then yeah, everything just went even more downhill. So, long story short, I had to drop out of college, everything, and while I was in college, I was like 17 at the time, I think, yeah crazy um while i was in college i never had a job because nobody would hire me because part-time staff and blah 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 because obviously you know employers make it so hard they want someone who's available all the time so yeah so uh, i didn't i couldn't find a job and then blah 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 loads of stuff happened i had to drop out of college and then you know when you're going through it and you kind of get sick of going through it so you think okay let me switch up my whole room or something so then i decided to hang this up i kid you not i didn't realize it at the time but as soon as i hung, hung it up i got a good really good job like well it was like a normal job at first but it turned out to be a really good job it was commission based so i made lots of money from that and then i was kind of like mm, this is kind of weird and then basically my life just went like in an upwards direction it was just getting better and better i was making a lot more money i was even when if you go on my channel and you see like when i had the pink and the the blonde and pink braids you'll see that those all the videos that i posted at that time was um getting thousands of views and stuff like it just felt like everything i touched just went right and then i was kind of like and then one day i kind of sat down because like i said i was having a hard time so this was just like so random and then um yeah so then one day i sat down and i was like wait everything changed when i put this up and i'm not joking and like i said before i'm the most logical person like 
I don't really believe in science or anything. So basically I did some research into Ganesh and then I found out about Goddess Lakshmi because they're, bo they're both usually together and then I don't know why I was just so drawn to Goddess Lakshmi and I just felt like I just felt like it was not just Ganesha was held with me, I felt like it was her too even though I had no idea about her or whatever. She's the goddess of abundance by the way and he's the god of taking away obstacles. Bitch. How do we stay lit? So when I did research, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, this has changed my life. And somewhere, I don't remember, this is the only thing that I don't remember. If you've ever seen The Secret or you've learned about the law of attraction, I started learning about that as well. I don't, I don't know where I even got that from, but it's just crazy. I watched The Secret and my whole life changed. And then that's when I realized, yeah, there's all that kind of stuff. You know about the law. If you don't know about the law of attraction, watch my um, vision board video. Or just type it or just type it in YouTube and then um yeah and I was so like because like I said I was having a really hard time and then all of a sudden my life just changed it just changed um so that is literally why I got this tattoo I literally got um Lakshmi here and then a snake because it snakes represent like transformation and stuff and at the time as well I was into like I started getting into astrology, and then astrology just it just moved on from there. To be honest, but um, before I got the tattoo, it was like kind of before I knew anything still about spirituality and all that stuff. I literally just felt so drawn to Ganesh and um, Lakshmi, and that was pretty much it. I didn't really, because I was learning about astrology as well. I wasn't really like too. I don't know. Yeah, I just learned as I went. To be honest, and then. I don't think I was seeing like 11, any synchronicities like 11-11 um, or anything um, but I remember my friend was all, would always point it out to me and then I started noticing after she started like pointing it out to me I can't, I don't, don't think I noticed it before but like I said I was like very sceptical if I kept seeing the same number I probably wouldn't think anything of it, of it if that makes sense um, so then yeah then I started seeing them and then I started thinking to myself am I seeing them because she's pointing them out to me or am I seeing them because I'm actually like seeing them or whatever but I just dismissed it and then the weirdest thing happened um so every single day I would see this same Porsche it was this it was um a macaron or something I googled it at the time because I was seeing it that much I know nothing about cars <laughs> it was like the big four by four um Porsche whatever I see it everywhere no matter what all the time everywhere it was even showing up on tv shows that i was watching and this i can prove because i remember watching power and it was like one of the last episodes or whatever and keisha literally was in that car and i was just sat there like what is going on and then i started to think you know what well this must be a sign and it was happening that much that me logical skeptical renea like thought this is definitely a sign i'm oh i'm taking that car <laughs> that car belongs to me at one point and then um will belong to me at one point and then one day I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see um, an ad for like a competition to win that exact car that I've been seeing everywhere for the past like few months or something. And then, um, but you had to pay, you had to pay ten pound to get a ticket to like be in the raffle, or whatever. I wasn't bothered about the ten pound because ten pound compared to like fifty, the car was like worth fifty grand. Um, is just not really comparable, is it? But, um, but I was. I was skeptical about putting my bank details on some random website and then when I finally decided you know what I've been seeing this car everywhere I'm gonna go and do it the tickets were sold out so next time I'm not I'm not hesitating <laughs> I'm not hesitating but yeah I feel like I might miss out some things but I'm gonna record this maybe edit it and then think like for another day or whatever because it'll edit it will come back to me so if you see me switching outfits that's why but oh yeah and then I started like seeing a numbers this is like more recently though like all of this has happened within wow that's crazy it can't have been two years i don't know it doesn't feel like it's been that long but anyway um then i started seeing like repeated numbers like 111 and it wouldn't just be like on my phone or whatever it'd be like everywhere like everywhere and then i started to think you know what this can't not be a sign like it and my um oh and at the same time crazy thing so me and my cousin and my auntie we we just like we didn't stop speaking for any reason or anything we just didn't speak to each other for a while and then um when we came back together 
me and my cousin were learning about astrology and then my auntie was learning to read tarot cards and she's going to be a tarot card reader like what are the chances anyway so that just opened even more so obviously i learned more and speak about it with them and stuff and me and my cousin used to like say stuff and we we it actually used to happen so when i found out about the law of attraction and manifestation and all that stuff i was like queen of it but um and then um yeah then more recently it came to like close to my 19th birthday and i was seeing repeated numbers but i didn't really pay too much attention because i was like mm, i don't know if this is real and then i was seeing them so much that i started to think like oh maybe um i've like trained because you can train your subconscious mind to look out for things that's literally kind of what the law of attraction is like training your subconscious mind to believe you've already got those things and they come to you but yeah um so i thought i'd train my mind to see like look out for the numbers so that's why i was noticing them more and not necessarily that they were there more if that makes sense i was trying to lodge i was trying to make the situation logical which life is not logical honestly <laughs> oh yeah so then my cousin was like well why don't you ask for a sign and then i was like you are right so one day i went before i went to bed i literally said out loud like okay universe if i keep seeing these one these um repeated numbers like give me a sign that i cannot ignore that i cannot deny and then that night i literally i i, I have weird dreams all the time and i read into them and stuff i've got books on it blah 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 but i have never ever ever seen any numbers in my dream like ever and then that night i had a dream and I had a specific question about like a career move or something that I wanted to do. And then I was kind of asking it like skeptically, like I didn't know whether to trust it, but that was like a few days before. And then in my dream, it literally had the career that I was asking about and it, won and it had the number, it had the number. It was crazy. And before, I forgot to mention as well, before like I asked for that specific sign, I kept seeing the spiders and I Googled it. Well, the one story with the the proper story for the spider is I was sat doing my work one time and I'm not scared of spiders but like usually I would be like mm, I want you out of my room <laughs> like take them out of the room or whatever but this time a spider crawled across like my hand or whatever and I just wasn't scared like I just kind of felt like oh we can share the room then like this is your room as well now and then ever since that spider I kept seeing them everywhere and then I googled it and it basically meant like web in the weaves of your life which kind of to one mom when you're seeing angel numbers I kind of believe that you should have your own meanings to them like of course you can if your first instinct is to google it and then you read it and then it makes sense then of course take that but certain things you can set like meanings for your specific numbers so you don't get confused or whatever so for me 11s or 111s is um like basically saying that i'm manifesting stuff or whatever and then a spider what i googled what a spider means it literally means like weaving the webs of your life so like manifesting to me that means basically it was just crazy and then i just i'm editing the video and i just so bad telling stories so um excuse what i look like but um basically the point of me telling you the story the spider story was because when i woke up from the dream the next day obviously when you wake up first thing you usually do is go to the bathroom or whatever and there was a spider crawling across the floor in front of me as i was like you know what i'm doing, what I'm doing. anyway <laughs> but yeah that was just crazy but that was the point of me telling you that story and i forgot to finish it off so yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so it's a completely different day like a few days maybe even a week after i filmed that video and have something else to add on something else crazy that's happened to me so i bought this book animal totems just randomly i bought some crystals as well got some citrine got some amethyst but anyway um, but um yeah so i bought this book and um it's got like re i was reading it and then it like started showing like eight said of what other all the animal totem means so but it was taking oh cute but it was taking way too long so i just like skipped to find um spider what spider means and what snake means because obviously like i just explained the spider story and the snake but can you guess what page number can you guess what page number hold on spider one one ten and one 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 just crazy and then it's snake is right next to it as well 
so I just it's just madness complete madness and not only is like usually 11 111 is like a pretty popular one to see but I've been seeing one 110 I kept like I wanted to get into tarot and stuff and then I read I was reading into like tarot cards and obviously my auntie was doing it and stuff and then my cousin said she'd buy me some for my birthday so on my birthday before I went to my party um because I got like an apartment or whatever regret but it's okay <laughs> um and then um yeah so I did a reading before I did went to the party and um I got the Hermit, which was oh, one of the only cards I actually knew what it, mean, it means because it's pretty easy, like Hermit, you just look within yourself, isolation, stuff like that, spiritual enlightenment. And then when I went to the party, it just did, it just wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't great, like, to be honest, I always kind of felt a bit, like, disconnected anyway, like, from people. I don't know if that makes sense, like, I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a loner, but I'm okay with it, I'm happy, but uh, it's like... Yeah, so when I was at my birthday, I was kind of sat there and I was like looking around and I was like, mm. but yeah. And then I realised that the hermit was literally how I was feeling. Like after that, I went into hermit mode because I was just like, forget this. <laughs> but then, yeah, and literally on my birthday, I kept seeing spiders everywhere. And I was, it's crazy because I was thinking about, oh, I can't, how can I do this without having to tell anyone the story? But I was thinking about a person well people and like stuff that i let go in the past and because sometimes you think if you just forget about something it'll be fine you can move on or whatever but it doesn't work like that you can't just forget things they're gonna come back up so all this stuff kept was like coming up just before my birthday and stuff and it's crazy that i got the hermit because the hermit was like the outcome of my birthday and then i kept seeing spiders like on the way home from um, my birthday and everything and so I think I will be doing tarot readings on my channel. Obviously, I've already done one, but I think I will be doing more. And yeah, I did take acid like two days ago as well. That was pretty intense. I think we're in a simulation. Like, no doubt in my head that we are in a simulation. And I think there's multiple, well, multiple realities caused for us. And then while I was on acid, I kind of realised like, nothing matters as long as you're doing what makes you happy and that's like the whole i don't know spirituality to me is like believing in yourself it's like feeling it's like acknowledging the fact that us all on the planet are connected us all in the universe are connected we're all like the same but um but it's also believing that you're here for for whatever reason and if you feel like you don't have a reason or you're like oh i don't even know what to do for my career or whatever that's fine you decide the whole point of i feel like a lot of people decide like spend a lot of their life worrying about what is the meaning of life or what's the point or blah 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 the point is to have a human experience and do whatever you want like that's literally the point like the whole point is you go out you decide what your point is you decide what you want to do you go and do it and then once that the fun goes out of that or you if that's not something you want to do forever then you go and decide what else you want to do travel the world that's just it that's it um but yeah okay so literally while i'm here i forgot to mention that um, obviously i found this in spain and i just and i was having a really hard time at the time um but i just felt like at home there and ever since then i've just wanted to move there like i didn't even at first i didn't even link it to this i just felt, felt like i'm moving here one day and then i um it's just weird little coincidences that made me realize that coincidences don't exist and everything happens for a reason hi rocco coincidences don't exist and everything happens for a reason so yeah it's just crazy so not only did I go there when I was having a hard time? I found Ganesh while I was there. Um, I also, I went to a festival with my friend and I just left my key with him and I literally didn't get it back for like a year. Um, I got it back and it says Spain on it. It literally, hold on. Okay, maybe I'll add a picture so you'll believe me, but it says Spain on my key, which is just crazy. Cause why? 
why would it say Spain on it? And I never noticed that before. I had the key since I was like 12 years old. So I don't understand. <laughs> and no, none of the other house keys have spa say any country or words on it. And another weird coincidence, my final coincidence that I'm gonna mention today, is the fact that um, I saw this tweet yesterday basically saying how a jealous friend just sends, gonna send the evil eye my way or whatever, blah, 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 and I should buy a tailsman. Need why it tells me so then i was literally gonna buy one tomorrow because better safe than sorry and then today i go into my mum's room and i literally see this it's just a key ring and it's got three evil eyes on it so i was like oh wow i don't even need to i don't need to um buy one now and it's literally from bulgaria can you read that it says bulgaria and today i checked my snap and you know like it comes up with a year ago today three years ago today i was on a plane to bulgaria is that not the weirdest like what are the chances of that coincidence i don't understand it's just crazy isn't it? i really don't believe any everything i really do believe everything happens for a reason and do you know what else is crazy um literally a thing on twitter came up that basically said like like what deities or what gods and goddesses are associated with your life path number Ganesh <laughs> my life path number is 11 and Ganesh was on there which is just, oh my god what are, god what are the chances all the gods and all the goddesses number 11 my number is Ganesh it's just crazy and Lakshmi is number 22 I think because my cousin's that one because obviously that's why she told me but yeah just crazy also i just want to explain um in this vid in the video well the video that you're watching i explained obviously that i had a spiritual awakening and all that shit but i kind of made it seem a lot easier than it is <laughs> usually when you go for a spiritual awakening yeah it sends you down a black hole what's it called the dark dark night of space dark night of space or something and basically it, it makes you like ask yourself all these questions like why am i here what's the point in life right, 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 right. all that shit but because i've literally struggled with mental health my whole life so i kind of already asked these questions like years ago and only just now am i linking it so it's just a bit like i don't know it's just weird i just feel like all this was just supposed to happen like once i realize it's like it's almost as if everything in my whole life made sense when nothing has made sense before so yeah if you were going through it or you're planning on well to be honest i'm gonna say if you're planning on having a spiritual awakening but no you don't plan it it happens to you <laughs> but um i was gonna say yeah if you if you are i just don't worry like trust me it's just it's worth it will be worth it in the end it's not it's not easy it's not supposed to be easy you know humans don't learn from easiness humans don't learn from being given or told everything humans learn through pain and experience so yeah it'll make you a better person in the end thank you for watching um i still can't drive by the way so i'm not even gonna promise a smoking video anytime soon hopefully but yeah thank you for watching and goodbye